May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be always faithful and acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. So you may have noticed um, over the last couple months that at the top of the leaflet is a revised mission statement that the vestry adopted this spring and have been using uh, both them and the staff in our planning for the coming year. Simply put, it states, the Church of the Holy Spirit is an Episcopal, multi-generational faith community that invites, welcomes, and nurtures individuals in deepening their relationship with God through worship, spiritual exploration, and service to others. Deepening their relationship to God. Our relationship with God is at the core of what we do as a community and as disciples. It is in the process of deepening our relationship with God that we understand God's view of us, God's love for us, God's purpose for us, our value. It is this learning, I believe, that it is at the heart of what Jesus is talking about and is talking about those who hunger and thirst. As we go through our life and mature, we ask those questions of why and what. What is my place? What is my legacy? What is my value? Why do I matter? And we hunger for an answer. As the great Bishop of Hippo, St. Augustine, said in the start of his confessions, the autobiography of his life, he says, Our heart is restless until it rests in you, God. We can have money and houses and vacations. We can have degrees and we can have titles. And all of them, at one point, will leave us empty. We can stake our value on our children, and they will sure as sure can be break our hearts at some point. And we can seek after our parents' affirmation and never quite get it. We hunger to know that we are valuable and lovable and the one who can do that the most is the one who has created us. And so as a community of faith, we come together to ask the questions and to help one another find the answer. We can come here for great music, yes, but we don't need to do that. We could go to Ravinia for that, or with Pandora, or Spotify, or any number of other things on the computer. We can find any beautiful music we want, any time of the day. We don't need to get up and come here to do that. We find fellowship in this place, friends who support us, but we could find that in the club, or at the neighborhood, or in the American Legion, or any number of other spots. The thing that separates us, the church, whether it be Church of the Holy Spirit or any other church, is that we come together in this place to meet God. To meet God in worship, to meet God in study, to meet God in our conversations. And in that meeting of God, to have that hunger for sense of meaning and value to be met. Now, we do that first in worship. This really is the primary place for us to meet God. And as we say uh, in the Eucharistic prayer in Rite 1, to offer ourselves and our souls and our bodies to God. That we come to this place not as a passive audience waiting um, for some magical incantation and God to appear like a genie. <coughs> But we come to this place to offer ourselves to God, the thanksgiving to God, our prayers for God. And know that through the word that is read and preached, 
that God will speak to us and meet us when we make ourselves available to gather around this predella, knowing in faith while we can't explain and will not get caught up in understanding how it is that Christ is spiritually really present in the bread and the wine, that we know by faith in our own experience and in looking across the predella into the eyes of others that God is here with us when we gather to participate in the sacrament. We deepen our relationship with God on a continual process. Lorelai and Sonatai will be baptized this morning in a few moments. They will become part of the body of Christ. But that's not them breaking through the finish line, but leaping out of the blocks to start the race, to start this journey. Their understanding of God in the decades before them will change. This notion of spiritual exploration is a recognition of the fact that how we understand God today is limited. Limited by our own desires and our own misconceptions. And it's only as coming together as a community, whether it be studying with the old dogs, the young pups, the women's spirituality, the faith at work, whatever group here, or in our own, reading scripture, reading spiritual books, engaging in the questions, engaging and finding answers to our questions, that we will grow deeper in our relationship with God. But our faith, meeting this hunger and thirst for a deeper relationship and understanding of God and who we are in relationship to God and in relationship to the world, is also dependent upon what we do, our service to others. The great African-American lay theologian, Verna Dozier, once wrote that it only matters a little bit about what we do on Sunday morning. What really matters, where we are really judged, is by what happens on Monday. And in fact, it is by what you and I do as Christians on Monday that judge and evaluate what we've done on Sunday. It is in our service to others that we understand God's abundant love, not simply for ourselves, but God's love for the child who is hungry in North Chicago. God's love for the person who is um, suffering physical illness and at Winchester House. It is for the student in Waukegan to college or Bravo Waukegan. It is about the person who is seeking a new start after serving time in prison and is at St. Leonard's House seeking to live out God's forgiveness in the world with a fresh start. It is our work, our care for others, that in engaging with them, that we experience how much God loves all of us. It is how we experience God's forgiveness and mercy by sharing the gifts that we have been given. We do hunger. You can understand what Jesus is talking about here. We hunger for meaning and value in our life. And we come to this place to be a part of this community to collectively and individually to seek God. And knowing that in our worship, in our spiritual exploration, and our service to others, that we encounter the living God. Living God who brought Jesus from the grave to resurrection, the living God who worked from the beginning of time, that living God in whose name we baptize people and celebrate the Eucharist, that living God is in us and with us and loves us. And that is the good news that we share with one another when we gather around this predella, that is the good news that we share with others on Monday morning. Amen.